Welcome to another paint with me. Um, this time I'm doing a voiceover, so excuse my voice <laughs> as I'm doing this for the first time. I asked you what you wanted to see next as a YouTube video, and a lot of you said you wanted to see me paint on glass, so that's what I'm doing today. And if you by chance have a really old vintage IKEA frame from like 2010, yeah, you can go ahead and join me. <laughs> or you can buy a new one. Actually, I didn't record this process, but before I started painting, I made a sketch of what I roughly wanted to do. So yeah, just in the size of the glass, um, you can sketch whatever you want to paint on the glass and then after you can just basically fill it in on the glass. Uh, it's not necessary, you can also straight up paint on glass, also I do that sometimes, but it does make the painting process easier and also faster, so yeah, that's what I decided to do this time. Also, I use traditional gouache, uh, not acrylic gouache. Gouache. <laughs> Am I saying this right? Um, yeah, I use traditional gouache for this reason that uh, if you paint on glass um, and you make mistakes, then you can easily just kind of erase it with water. So since acrylic gouache doesn't mix with water or it does but um when it dries up you cannot uh, make it liquid again so that's why i use traditional gouache over acrylic gouache but if you're very confident or you want to scratch it off if you make a mistake you can also do that uh the options are endless <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to stop talking for now and yeah, let you enjoy the video.
Okay, now I'm just going to use this tool. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what you exactly call it, but uh, it's supposed to be for clay. But this time we're going to use it to carve out um, small details like the eyes or details in the flowers. Uh, yeah, just make sure um, that you use a tool that is sharp but not too sharp and that you don't put too much pressure on the glass so you don't end up scratching the glass too much or damaging it. So I carve out all these details and then go over it with another color since um, we're going to put the glass into the frame flipped so the other side is going to be on the outside uh, that means if you just paint over uh, the paint it's not going to show on the other side of the glass so that's why I'm carving first and then painting over it Okay, so now it's finally time to put the glass in a frame. So like I said before, you flip the glass so that the painted side is on the inside. And then you are free to do whatever you want. Uh, sometimes I put a white paper in between or a colored paper so you can really decorate it the way that you want and the way that you feel looks best. So. Yeah, it's a matter of taste but this time I decided to just go in with more glass <laughs> I just put another um, from another frame I took the glass and then just put it in the back uh, put this little cloth in between because I thought it would look cute and kind of act like a little picnic blanket I don't know <laughs> if you can really see it that well but yeah, I decided to put that in between. So this is what we ended up with. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. And yeah, maybe you even created a little frame on your own. And if you did, I would really love to see that. 
I hope you have a wonderful and beautiful day and you're amazing and I love you to bits. See you next time. Bye bye.